Can you get the spider for me? It's right Where? here. Oh, it's gone. It's a jumping one, that's why. I'm... Where is it? <laughs> what is that, you? <laughs> oh, it's on your shoulder. Listen to that. So creepy. Is this is this I'm guessing the gymnasium bit is probably that big glass bit. Oh no. Who was that? As I said, as far as I know, they wasn't allowed to take nothing. So right now, guys, I'm standing in Fukushima's, one of the biggest hospitals that got abandoned in 2011. So as we're all aware, in March 11th, Around about 3 p.m. there was a massive earthquake that read over 9 on the Richter scale, completely tearing this hospital apart. So they evacuated everyone into the main areas, so everyone had to leave everything behind. Then the next minute, within a few days, everyone was evacuated from Fukushima due to the power plant. Yeah, a wave hitting 45 meters high took out the power plant and caused all the generators to fail, which was reactor to exploded and blew radiation toxic into the air. And they say on the scale it is as bad as Chernobyl. As you can see, everything's left behind in this hospital. So let's get on with the video. So we just literally pulled up at yeah, a place in Fukushima. So the hospital is directly behind. It's just evidence of Things that were just left behind. And the little truck over there. So we currently put the car stashed away. Dan, you ready? I mean, I think so. I know, I'm a bit worried, man, I'm not gonna lie. I think, uh, I think we've got away with worse, though. Yeah, I think but. We've been worse. No, yeah, I get that. So at the moment, we're in actually the entering the red zone. So the hospital that we're going to go into is complete time capsule, everything's left in it, but it is guarded. And when I mean guards, just on the beginning of the video, there's even a scooter laying down there, Dan. Look at the bike. Huh? Scooter. <laughs> this just proves this town, <laughs> everything is left behind. There's a huge overgrown area. Um, I'm going to chuck my mask on in a minute. Nervous, but it's fine, guys. It's just a fact of the whole foreign country thing. And we're entering a, a very illegal area. The red zones check the radiation is 0, 0, 0.54, which is quite moderate, quite low, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Either. It's good tonight. This is the catacombs all over again. Yeah. Damn. We're literally in trenches. Stab my face. Oh. Can I fucking mark my face there? Uh, right there. Oh. You'll get across the, the railway line. It was like we're going through like some Japanese jungle. How was that? It is 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12 uh, p.m. in villages and towns, they make this sound. Okay. Midday. Oh, great. What do you reckon? Still. So if anyone's screamish for spiders, this is the place they're going to be. Maybe snakes. I don't know. This reminds me of a like predator. Can you get the spider for me? It's right Where? here. Oh, it's gone. It's a jumping one, that's why. Where is it? <laughs> what is that, you? <laughs> oh, it's on your shoulder. <laughs> Boys, keep it together. <clears throat> Where am I here? Oh, you want about this? Where does it go? Yeah, it's jumped. Where'd it go? It's a jumping spider, isn't it? <laughs> the radiation levels are going higher. Zero two point, what was it? 
We're not going to stay here too long. But, yeah, this is quite bad. This is the areas obviously they haven't cleaned up. And obviously the guards are only here to protect people from coming in because of the dangers. Another property there and a car. Oh, this is really getting risky now. Really risky. So it's so windy at the moment. So we're just going to walk down here for a little bit, but we're scared because down there's the main entrance where there's a Gurkha on the gate. Uh, these are security, so yeah, it's the back of the hospital, bro. Did you get shot in the bed? Um, yeah, pretty much. Alright, now we're safe for Embry. Listen to that wing, guys. It's, it's literally hospital's been untouched for 12 years. This is crazy. Look at this aqua bath type. It's literally the first corridor. Hospital beds littered through. You can see wards there. Still untouched. It's just like Silent Hill. It's like you're waiting for the sirens to go to Silent Hill and the walls start peeling back. This is crazy. It is. Guys, look at all the medical equipment left. There's literally so much. There's tons of medication. Bags of stuff. This is obviously a medical supply room. There's all like syringes and stuff here. And here, I don't know if it looks like the uh, like animals or something have chewed open all the saline. It's quite scary, isn't it? Definitely got some like real Silent Hill vibes in here. Like really, really creepy. A real creepy place. As you can see, just where the patients is bedding all there, all the heart monitors. You can think everyone was at such a panic attack when this was happening because no one really knew what was going on apart from a massive earthquake and apparently they were they knew it was coming and I think they had an, uh, an idea as well that the Tsami was coming what they did during evacuation, before evacuation. They moved everyone into this room. Wow. Look at all this. All the documents still here. Shavers. This is literally 12 years abandoned. It's Dr. Josh, Dr. Josh. This is insane. This is one of the craziest hospitals I've ever, ever explored.
there's another room here. Probably got people in here and then all the patients documents are sitting over there. Every room's like the same. You can see now how mouldy this place is getting as well. It's really settling in. Each room, another area. You really got to admit, this is some horror movie stuff. Right, listen to this back. Whoa. What the hell is that? through the door, the vending machines. Loving this type of mosaic glass. Oh, wow. Look at this. Maybe like a cafeteria, maybe. Oh, look at the door. You can see how overgrown it is outside. And here the ceiling's falling down. So just here's the original, like the way in, the original main entrance. You can see looking out there on the driveway, just how overgrown it is. It's crazy isn't it, how things can change just within the space of 12 years. I mean, 12 years is a long time, just over a decade, but you know. There's another like reception waiting room. Right, let's head upstairs. So I've gone up to level three. I don't know if you can see out here okay. No. So just there you can see the cars. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cars still in the car park from the staff when they're evacuated. So just walking into the maybe like a this computer data area. Loving a set of crocs. Look at that. A lot of the staff shoes are Still in the racks. Some BMW flip flops. <laughs> so as you can see there, it's all the cars. All in the car park still. This is pretty insane. So I'm literally in the massive gym area in this hospital. Oh, it's crazy. Look at this.
Okay, that's the back end of that office. second floor at the other side of the hospital now I'm not gonna lie I don't do the whole paranormal spook thing but it was literally like clear as day someone running up one of the corridors still got the staff room I'm thinking maybe I should do a paranormal visit at this hospital. Oh, look at this. All the showers and stuff. So I've come down the bottom end. You think how many patients were in this hospital at the time? See the, the unit there is about to collapse just through damp and it's probably full. I don't want to touch too much stuff really, but it's gonna say everyone's stuff still here. You think this is 12 years as well, how much this hospital like damp just without the heating being on and it just proves in it without civilization how everything sort of just deteriorates. It's literally stuff from people who have been here. As I said, as far as I know, they wasn't allowed to take nothing, only the clothes on their back. Then even when they cut the clothes on the back, they were decontaminated and given an outfit to put on. Which is absolutely crazy. Even up to the little battery here, completely right to the floor. Just proves that no one's been in this place. Even the balcony view here, completely overtaken. Looking this side here, it's a half pack bag. It's just like maybe he was just trying to chuck some of his possessions in and then told he couldn't take it. Oh, the molding is so bad, look at it all. Everything's still here. All right, let's get out of this bit. Guys, look at the shoes, literally decomposing to the floor. Just everyone, look. Completely full up. Just looking over this side here. Draw here. Oh wow, hey look, there's even sealed packs of cigarettes still here. That's crazy, isn't it? In here, no one has a glasses case. They're all still here, guys. God. This place is absolutely crazy. I've probably said that so many times, I'm sorry, but sometimes I just get amazed with places. I think it's just trying to, trying for me and all to take in just really what this place went through. Now we all hear it on the news, but when you actually come here and you see just how bad it is, or was, it still is. See the max we can stay in here is about three hours and we need to get out, so. Maybe like a staff bedroom. It's 
Just looking on this desk as well, you see a lot of torches as well. You think after the earthquake, all the power went off in this place. More domes. Look at this place. It is crazy, it really is. Dude. This guy had, or woman, had every <laughs> stereo, stereo, stereo. Okay, there's some, a lot of adult stuff here on the wall. Look at all the cigarettes as well. So some people must have stayed here for a long time. I wouldn't have thought they'd be allowed to have pornographic stuff on the walls though. Probably all the hospital files. And just personal belongings probably of the patients. Just where this whole place is shook. It's chucked everything everywhere. Absolutely um, crazy, isn't it? So into the second part of the hospital. What size of that hornet's nest in there? All the TVs. All food and drink here that never quite made the vending machine. Yeah. Date 2012. You can see just another staff room there. Working area, sorry. Even someone's handbag. Again, it's like two watches there. So just like another staff area. There's even slippers underneath the desk. Another all the doctor's coats hanging up. Oh, I've still got stuff in the pocket. See the washing area, drying racks still got clothes, uh, still got towels and stuff. See this corridor's suffered really bad leaks.
Are you really, really nervous? Just pain on my hand. It's completely locked. As you can see over there. So I'm in like a different ward at the moment. So hopefully we can find some operating theatres. So if you've watched up to this section, has anyone found a duck yet? Have I even shown the duck yet? Okay, so this is a wards again. As you can see, I am on another ward. So she's 6B. This reception though, look at it. There's even still blood samples. Oh no. And these are, you can see them in there as well. Wow. <laughs> it's like they brought their own, the whole house here. What is that in there? There's even a sock still in the dryer there near the window. Look at everyone's stuff. Can't believe how much stuff is literally got behind, left behind. They wasn't allowed to take nothing. And it was right, it wasn't. Apart from the mess, it looks like a lot of people are just gonna come back into their room. As you can see, look, I think some people actually lived here a lot longer than they was. Just looking here, look. Brand new Panasonic headphones, never out of the box. It's a shame, as I said, I've said it earlier on the video, it's a shame they can't decontaminate a lot of this stuff so people can have it, right, in countries that haven't, that need stuff. It's more of a children's one. So we the old Mickey Mouse there, Mickey Mouse there. So like that creepy looking doll. Massive Hello Kitty. There's a family photo there. And there's a brand new doll in a box in there. Yeah, this is probably like the kids' ward or something. So just put the Mickey Mouse back up, but there you can see how long he's been there. It's a dust outline. It's really dusty in this one as well, so I'm gonna get out. Just give you an idea how big this place is. So this is the corridor I walked in earlier. It was flooded. I'm guessing the gymnasium bit is probably that big glass bit. Oh no. Who was that? There's some weird old noises in this place. Gee whiz. It's huge. Just shows you how many patients they had in this place when it happened. Just come into another one here. 
sad isn't it, it really is, it breaks my heart a little bit really, walking around there's like medication there in the bags. You can see all of their watches, just loads of personal things. I don't like clean up the drawers but sometimes it's just interesting just to see the life of bits that are left of people. Yeah, see everything, even up to a toothbrush. Looks like Louis Vuitton there. So the camera did go off there, but everything's still there. Louis Vuitton. It's, sometimes I get that odd comment that you know, people are saying, oh, I bet you're stealing, but I'm in Japan. Look, there's still nothing. I wouldn't steal nothing in my own country. But it's already risked that we're in the red zone. It's already risky enough. So another main area. You can see there's a TV. This is very similar to, obviously, the floor below. I would imagine they're all pretty generic, the same. So obviously, the, the floor below this, we couldn't get in. I'm guessing this is, as I said, where all the samples come in. Probably where they dish all the medication out to this. It just shows you how bad the whole fascia there is falling out. Makes you wonder that no one was aware. I mean, this room here, look. Looks like the people are ready to go in this one. This guy looked like he was really into his electronics. It's all like set players stripped. There's a Sony camcorder there. And there's just stuff littered all over the bed. Yeah, it looks like he was taking apart stuff and maybe repairing it for other people in the hospital. You never know. I just come into one room and I had to show you all them cigarettes and guess what fruit put in the comments below that she had in her drawer and left it there. <laughs> Come on guys, look at this. This is probably one of the worst corridors I've seen. So this is the main area where they put everyone when the earthquake, earthquake struck. Here and in that area. So creepy down here. of the hospital now. This place is so goddamn big. Excuse to use the Lord's name. this place can't believe it's completely abandoned like this just don't seem real I mean I heard about Fukushima but 
I never kind of thought it'd be like this. I don't know what to expect. So guys, we're three hours. Three hours is kind of up. I want to get out of here. Oops. As you know, in some of the areas in this hospital, radiation gets really high. All the workers, <laughs> all their little lockers. <sighs> Honestly, guys, it feels like it gets too much in here. Too much radiation levels. I'll stop recording and get out of here. I think these would have been like the doctor's houses. It's in the grounds. You think everything's just abandoned here? You think the hospital's not even that old either? Crazy. They look pretty empty, bro. There's like, a, no, there's like a living room. It just gives you an idea. This is obviously the doctor's quarters. Probably where they would have lived. Yeah, you're right, bro. The doctor's definitely lived on site, so. The main doctor's, yeah, would have yeah. probably been on site. Makes sense. But we had to figure out for ourselves. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like the operating rooms. Oh, you imagine it. Why didn't we? Yeah. That's the problem, half the hospital is locked, so we could only explore what we could get. Guys. And this is a radioactive hospital as well. The flooring is absolutely knackered. Yeah, I mean, these places are probably, I wouldn't say gutted, but yeah. just so trapped. See, that is one of the older, uh, this is probably the caretaker's house. So it's a little pickup truck oh, yeah. and a little house. Because there's like a workshop there, so probably all the tools from the site. We are hitting high readings here, just so you know. Really? 1.4 uh, USB. I mean, it's uh, it's going to 2. Oh, I just died. Let's get out of it. 2.1, uh, 2.1. 2.1. Let's get out of it. Let's get out of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the Fukushima hospital. This place was absolutely insane. And I felt like we only scratched the surface. I just want to give out a message to everyone all the Japanese people that suffered from this Fukushima disaster. My heart goes out to all of you and my love to all the lost that died during the Fukushima disaster. 
hopefully in our lifetimes we never get to experience anything like this ever again. God bless and I'll see you on the next adventure. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing. Don't forget to follow us on all social medias for extra pictures and footage. Facebook, Abandoned World Explorers and so on. Love you loads, stay safe and I'll see you on the next adventure.